Hey everybody, it's Sam Random Dude the Fourth, and let's play Pokemon Coliseum. And welcome to my 50th episode. But you're probably wondering, hey, why are we in Pyrite Town? Well, that's a good question. Actually, it's because we're going to do another Coliseum challenge. Now I know technically that we have already done Coliseum challenge, this Coliseum challenge, right about episode six, I think it was, but. Uh, if you think that this Coliseum challenge is going to be as easy as the other one, you're in for a big surprise, and you got another thing coming. So, before we begin, uh, let me check my Pokémon. You're probably wondering why I'm doing all these Coliseum challenges. Well, if you check out my money, I am virtually broke. That is 580. It's either an eight or a nine. Ninety. 584 Poké dollars. I'm broke, and I'm going to need more supplies than this in order to beat the thing that we're about to do. So, I'm taking Pokemon Coliseum challenges. Now, the reason I'm recording this one is because we haven't done a Pyrite Coliseum challenge with, um, or at least at this level anyway, in Pyrite. But once I get done with these, most of my Coliseum challenges will be off screen, except for the one that we're about to do and one in the future, which I won't spoil. So, with all that out of the way, Pokemon, or not Pokemon, Pyrite Coliseum Battle 1. Yeah, Pokemon Coliseum Battle 1. Okay. It's great Mirror B's gone. We can battle with no strings attached. Aw, but we can't do it without music, though. Well, there is music here, but we can't d use his music. His music is awesome. But anyway, we're using, or he's using, Lenone and a Teddy Ursa. My throat's being weird today. Okay. And we have a Meganium and Entei. Now these guys are about a few levels weaker than the guys at the Under Coliseum. So I guess that's good news for me. I'm going to use Razor Leaf and I'm going to use Shadow Rush on... Teddy Ursa, I guess. And Lenone digs a hole, digs a hole, digs a hole. And Meganium uses Razor Leaf. And it misses Lenone because it's underground. It's in the Under. No, it's kidding. Anyway. And Teddy Arsa gets hit for a little bit. And Entei is a Shadow Rush on the correct person. And does quite a bit of damage. And hit with Recoil, of course. So now, Teddy Arsa is using Leer. I'm leering at you. And my Defense Spell. And Entei's Defense Spell. And now we're going to use Razor Leaf again. And then we're going to Shadow Rush Lenone whenever it comes back up. Because it uses Dig Hole, Dig Hole, Dig Hole. And my voice cracks. And it's super effective, but it didn't kill me. And now we're using Razor Leaf. Haha. -ha. Little bit of damage to Lenone. And uh, Teddy Ursa barely lives. But Entei is just Shadow Rush. And does a little bit of damage to Lenone. Did a lot more damage to Teddy Ursa. Oh well. Recoil. Teddy Ursa uses Leer again. And our defense spell again. It's spamming. Okay, we use Razor Leaf, and then we use Shadow Rush. Except for the fact that it digs a hole. So, Meganium attack Miss Lenone. We attack Teddy Ursa. Finish it off. And, maybe it's gonna send out another Pokemon? Nope, it's not. I attack and it missed. So now, we're gonna use Razor Leaf again. Actually, you know what? Better yet, let's use Body Slam. It does more damage. I don't need Shadow Rush again, of course. So Lenone uses Dig Hole, Dig Hole, Dig Hole. And it kills Entei. That's not a surprise. Entei has been king being killed a lot lately, for some reason. Very well then. Now we're going to send out a weak guy. Uh, well, him on top is type advantage and weaker, so that'd be the logical thing to do. And Intimidate lowers your attack. And Body Slam attacks. And it does some damage. And it's paralyzed. Alright, so we're gonna use Body Slam. Followed by Triple Kick. Followed by Body Slam. And killing you. And speaking in a monotone voice for some reason. But anyway. Lenone is dead. Thank goodness. We all gain experience. More experience. More power. How'd you like my Dr. Robotnik impression? But anyway, 
Besides doing impressions, we beat Rollerboy as hell. Ah, a battle to clear my mind. Indeed. It cleared my mind, too. Next up, we have... Pyrite Coliseum Battle 2. And actually saying it correctly this time. Oh, hi. I knew all about you. Let's battle it out. Okay. And Rider Trona would like to battle. She sends out a Dalcaddy. And a Jigglypuff. What is it with these trainers and using normal Pokemon? Well, whatever. Okay. Beginium is going to use Razor Leaf, I guess. And Entei is going to use Shadow Rush on Jigglypuff. Aha! Damage! Aha! Even more damage! And Entei is just Shadow Rush. Oh, I forgot to do my epic voice. Entei is just Shadow Rush. And Jigglypuff has died. There you go. More experience. And Delcata uses frustration. In other words, it's using what I was feeling whenever I was trying to catch Suicune. Catch Suicune. I can't pronounce things correctly, but anyway. Razor Leaf. And Shadow Rush. Why did I use Razor Leaf? I should have used Body Slam, but oh well. Ooh, that did even more damage than last time. Shadow Rush. I think it's because, um, in double battles, you know, you have, like, wide moves that hit both Pokémon. But in doing so, to hit both Pokémon, it does less damage to both Pokémon. Regardless if you, if you use it on, like, one Pokémon, then it does more damage to that Pokémon. I could be wrong, but I think that's kind of what it is. So we're gonna use Razor Leaf, and then we're gonna use Shadow Rush. I mean, that seems to make the best sense. In my opinion, but anyway. Delcaddy died! And thus is the end of that battle. Well, this isn't exactly Phoenix Stadium easy, but it's kind of close. You know, you're awful. You don't have to get all serious like that. I'm always serious. I'm some random dude the fourth. But besides that, it's the semi-final of the Pyrite Coliseum Challenge. Oops. As if I'm serious all the time. It's like the exact opposite of that, but anyway, it's a bodybuilder. Yo, I heard you sent Mirror B packing. Let me take a peek at your power. And bodybuilder Betcher would like to battle. You know, a lot of you guys are like more powerful than Mirror B. Why didn't you just kill Mirror B? And look at that, more normal Pokemon. That's a surprise. Well, I guess technically Dodo is part flying, but it's still part normal too. But. Okay, whatever. Anyway, because it's part flying, it's a bad idea to send him out. So we're gonna send out Ampros. And Entei is gonna use Shadow Rush on Loudred. And we have Ampros. Very well then. Entei, use your Shadow Rush. Does quite a bit of damage. Heavy recoil. It's using Fury attack. I have Fury! Do. Oh. Ow. Hit two times. And overheats. Basically, it's using the weather in Kansas. Oh no! And your special attack harshly fell for that. And static made you paralyzed. Aha. I'm gonna use Thunderbolt on Doduo. And probably kill it in one shot. And then use uh, Shadow Rush on Loud Red. So let's do that, shall we? There we go. Loud Red is dead, I think. No, it's not. And Doduo has Fury. Do. Oh. Ouch. Hit two times again. And I'm using Thunderbolt. You don't have any Fury anymore when you're dead. And thus ends that. Oh wait, it has another Pokémon. And guess what? It's a normal Pokémon! More normal type Pokemon. And stomping for critical hit and killing Entei. Well, Entei died. Well, since you guys have a habit of using normal Pokemon, I'm gonna use my fighting Pokemon. Let's go hit on top. Oh, 
Alright, we're gonna use, uh, Thundershock, I guess, on Loud Red. And then we're gonna use Triple Kick on Fritz. Except it what? Underground. So, that missed. Doh, I missed. And Thundershock. Which kills it with an unnecessary critical hit. More experience. And thus, I will use, uh... Yeah, actually, just to kind of spite him, I'm gonna switch Pokémon, because I'm pretty sure I know who he's attacking. So... Haha. <laughs> and then hit myself, we'll use Triple Kick, and hopefully finish it off. And for it, digs a hole, digs a hole, digs a hole, but it misses! Haha, <laughs> I knew that would happen. But I missed too! So that was a complete waste. So, now we're gonna use Dragon Breath. And we're gonna use Triple Kick. For it uses Facade. Doesn't do that much, because it's not affected by a status, con status condition. And Dragon Breath hits it. Barely does anything. But it is paralyzed, and now Facade will do twice the damage that it does normally. Once. Twice. Thrice, and it dies. Who uses the word thrice anymore? Oh well, anyway. Vert has died. And we gain experience. More power! Where did that joke? But anyway, the semi-final battle has been completed, and Betra has been defeated. Woohoo! You're mighty tough indeed! I didn't stand a chance. No, you didn't. Next!